Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode number 74 of Ranwin Parked, the show where we find car ads from around the internet and dream about buying them, make fun of them, or look upon them in disgust. I am your host, Cone Dodger, joined by Kurt J. Mack and ZK. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. It's 9.14 p.m. on a Tuesday evening. What is going on Tuesday? with our lives? <laughs> It's actually 8.14 p.m. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Taco Tuesday. Oh, yes. It's all it's the all Tacoma episode. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's what people call Toyota Tacomas, tacos. Ah. Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, 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 yep. No, actually, we're, uh, we're late to this episode because Kurt's been just so busy working on his Datsun. Mm, yes, getting all the 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 loose ends and and unfinished projects just buttoned up and smoothed out. I'm proud of you. Let me see. I want to I want to see your grinding, Kurt. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I mean, the the more pressing project would be the radiator, but I've 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 not even bothered to like mop up any of the <laughs> water that spewed out of it. That's remained where it sits. What's with y'all uh, and radiators? Listen. I don't know. <laughs> don't add us. <laughs> yes. Um, but here is where I decided to start on the radiator. <laughs> <laughs> By removing the rear taillight assemblies and frame surrounds. Um, it's a real pain in the butt, by the way. There are many little tiny, tiny screws and nuts that hold these in. That hasn't changed. <laughs> And those little gaskets are glued, and uh, I found some interesting denting and rusting behind that left lens there. Mm. But I'm just gonna paint over that, and yep, just we'll never know when that, once I put the back on. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to paint the frames because they're all faded and right. they're not black anymore; they're like gray. Uh, but also, in order to fit my new slim rear bumper, I gotta remove this ducktail looking uh bumper filler panel which unlike the corolla is welded into place as opposed to the corolla just had bolt holes mm -hmm. um which is very difficult to do without also destroying the back of the car yeah that's an um, annoying that's an annoying place for them to have done that yes uh if you subscribe to my youtube channel you saw my first and only youtube short hashtag where i just <laughs> What I had to do was drill out the first two on the left, and that gave it, for some reason, enough wiggle room where I just blah, 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 and I didn't, I didn't realize that you had drilled two of them, but that... It's weird that you would drill two of them for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten? And yeah. two was enough? <laughs> two was <laughs> enough. <laughs> Um, yeah, and they had those little these little brackets I just cut with tin snips. Yeah. Um, but I was left with these these nubs, mm. these these rusty spot weld nubs. Uh, nice. So I had to go out and buy an angle grinder and some flap discs. Thanks <laughs> to to ZK's referral for like free flap discs. Oh man, just you got those shipping. before I did. <laughs> I got them. <laughs> He's been telling me about this for years, and I still haven't done it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, there's a close up of what they look like. Ah. Um, and here's my handiwork. Honestly, that's pretty good. Yeah, you did well. First time ever using any sort of ankle grinder. Your first time grinding, huh? Yes. Mm. Oh, weird. Okay. So this it is weird. I am running into this weird issue where, uh, they. <sighs> This side went through, and I'm like, oh. So now there's like a little thin disc that's in between these metal uh, well, uh, panels. So here's the thing. Those are like factory holes in the body that they then press. Like I guess they then spot welded in these little plugs to fill the hole to then spot weld the thing onto? Or maybe they... To me, it looks like maybe they didn't stamp out the holes all the way. Yeah, I think it's like just like a stamped indent, and I just ground through the bevel. Why, though? I don't know. Weird. So now I'm thinking I should just do the same thing for all of them. Like, this one is practically going to. 
and then just yeah. like weird. fill in that little disc. It is weird. This is going to be hidden though, right? This is under bumper. Oh, of course not. Oh, <laughs> fun. <laughs> the bumper <laughs> attaches to uh, down lower beneath. Oh, that, I see. I see. Where I those see. the holes where the uh, the tow hooks were. I see. Uh, so yeah, no, this is all visible. Otherwise, I wouldn't be bothering with this at all. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, I mean, oh, that's you've gone too uh, far. I've gone too far. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at. Uh, so there's I, nothing behind that, or is there? There's another piece behind that, but it's a distance behind it. I don't follow your line of question. Okay, so like you're in this hole here, the one that's punched right. through. There's uh -huh. another sheet of metal behind it, right? Right there, yes. You can kind of see a seam. Gotcha. If you follow that down to the tailpipe. But I don't know if the rest of them have anything. Oh, behind. you're right. There's overlapping panels here, yes. so the rest of them might not. I wouldn't mm. touch the rest of them. Yeah. I would just yeah. put some Bondo on them, paint over them, pretend you never saw it. <laughs> this like, one yeah. this one you might end up having to get like they make this little wire that people are gonna like absolutely lay me over the coals for saying this they make this little wire mesh that you can stick to metal and then bondo over it uh, you might be able to cut that into a circle and stick it in the hole and stick it to the back piece and that'll give you enough bite there to like lay your body filler in uh, and not have a you know a eighth inch thick piece of body filler there, mm. and again just sand over it, get it smooth enough, paint over it, pretend you never saw it. <laughs> I think True. I think that's the way to go. Uh, do you still have the little disc? It's in there. It's still it's between. Well, the yeah, two this panels. disc fell. Oh. There it is. Oh, okay. You could use there, a magnet to get left. it. Yeah, yeah, I could use a magnet to like try to suck it back, but. But uh, but you don't own a welder. And I was just like, just tack it back in in a right. couple spots and good to go. Yeah. You know how annoying that would be to tack? You would blow through that. Yeah, probably. I mean, that's not Especially... that's not really much of a space there. That's like paper thin. Is, is, oh, is what here? That disc is. Oh, yeah. Then, then, I mean, if... I could just fill it. <laughs> yeah, I think you could just fill it. Yeah. Okay. In that case, then, yeah. No biggie. Yeah, it, it, the, the perspective of the picture makes it look like that's a sizable Yeah, I, I, I had the flash on, so there's like gotcha. a shadow. But... Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Well, you're doing fine. You're doing great. Mm. Yeah, no, I, it's it's not going to be some pristine Miko uh, auction. Look at, the, look, at the, look at the paint around it, Kurt. Like, <laughs> right, I know. That's what I mean. So I'm like, ah, I'll, I, I got them so there's not nubs there. I'll yeah. hit them with some white paint, and then we'll, mm -hmm. we'll be good. Yep. yep. I, um, me being the way I am, I'm like, that little rust spot up at the top, I'd take like a little wire wheel right there and just paint over that, too. <laughs> I'd like to show you the rest of the car. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> May I present to you uh, everything Russ just else? just gives me heebie-jeebies. Listen here, Eight Texan. <laughs> I just came from New York, and let me tell you, bud, you are a spoiled brat. <laughs> <laughs> I saw GeoGuessr. That, that, yeah. <laughs> The fuel door. The fuel door was rusted in half. <laughs> uh, unlike a 2008 Chevy truck. Um. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, if you you've never used body filler before, Kurt. No. Don't use Bondo. I'll send you. It's cheap. It's not like more expensive than Bondo, but there's there's better body fillers out there. Mmm. Secret sponsor. <laughs> uh, it's Evercoat. I think is the company. Oh. Uh, Evercoat Super Light. I think is the good good easy cheap one to get. Um, for those that don't watch me on Twitch, uh, A, why, B, um, the ramp truck developed its first, like, mechanical breakdown ever, which is shocking, <laughs> really, when you think about it. Uh, the water pump went, it's been going, ee -oo, ee -oo, ee -oo, and, and then it started to go, ee -hoo, ee -hoo, ee -hoo. um, <laughs> and then when we took it all apart, and, like, you can spin the pup by hand, it sounds like marbles. It sounds like a duck call. It does like, sound a like a duck call. Duck, duck call. Uh, I mean, so yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, we've made that mess and there's tools everywhere and everything's uh, broken apart and uh, we put a new water pump on it, which is not easy. Ford, I'm going to take a moment to make my dad really happy. Ford, what the hell were you thinking? Like, <laughs> this water pump is mounted to a piece of sheet metal that, like, enc encloses the water pump, so the impeller, like... If it was in a huge cavity, it wouldn't flow any water, right? 
So they mm-hmm. put a piece of sheet metal behind it that's mounted to another this thing in the middle that is like a spacer, if you will, to 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 space it out from the timing chain area. Um and then it goes into the engine block. So the water goes like, you know, out from here and into there. That's that's like the flow characteristics of the thing. Um after you know, now we have a gasket here in from the pump to the plate, and then a gasket from the plate to the pump. After doing all of that, turns out the whole time it's been leaking here on the engine block. And this mid plate is not just an adapter. No, it's the whole timing chain cover. So this whole thing down to like the crank through the oil pan and everything has been leaking you know in this kind of vague area and where all the rtv is slathered where all the rtv is just like (laughs) slathered in there from whoever did this before who knows if there's even a gasket there um and yeah i think it's been weeping there zk you remember like when we first picked up the parts truck it stunk like it had a had a cool smell but we couldn't find it yeah and it was it was only like a dribble i guess right like it, it never overheated or anything. I think the reason we couldn't find it is the engine and everything was so coated in corn dust <laughs> that the coolant was just getting absorbed into the dust. Um, and now, I guess because we unbolted this and, you know, bolted it back on and I had to, like, hammer on the pump to get it off because I missed a bolt. Um, obviously, we've disturbed this enough. Now, now it just pours out of here. And mm. I'm worried that it's also leaking internally, which would mean water into the oil pan, which would mean water in the oil, which is a disaster. So tune in Friday for me losing my mind trying to get this whole cover off. Mm. Uh, so what, when you got your, your water pump, you got it from Rock Auto or? Yes. Somewhere? Okay. And they sent you the right one, right? They did send me the right one. Yes. I tried to put <laughs> you it. You thought it wasn't. I tried to put it in upside down <laughs> and it was not the right one. Because <laughs> I, because I'm like in in doing the radiator, still on the list. Uh, I people are like, who's good the water pump? So I got ordered a water pump, right box, right gasket, wrong water pump. Weird. I, <laughs> very weird. So, I don't think it's necessarily Rock Auto, but I've been seeing this a lot more recently. Mm. You think it's so people like, box swapping? Like they they get that's pump. always been a thing, right? So maybe they get their pump. They return it, and it's got, you know, not the right pump in there. Yeah, or, but, I don't know. I feel like whatever, ref- or, like, reman places are just throwing stuff in boxes and mm-hmm. everything. Because, like, the box is labeled right. You can't really blame Rock Auto for no, it. No, yeah, and I went through their whole process of, like, <laughs> interrogation to, like, say, yeah. oh, God, yeah, their, their return is... Their return <laughs> process is, yeah, it, it is, like... The CIA is investigating yeah. you. <laughs> and once you make an answer, you can't go back and change no, your No, you can't. Yeah, I, I got screwed um, with that because one of the things I was going to return, I was like, it was like, did you mount this? And I was like, well, yeah, I had to mount it to, you know, see if it worked. They're like, oh, well, you mounted that. You can't return that now. I'm like, but you sent me the <laughs> wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's one of those things where you should just lie. Right. But uh, it seems like bad business practice to me to make people lie. Yeah, I get, or I you can to... spend. Hmm. Go on. I was gonna say, or you can spend twice as much at like, AutoZone. I and... used to think that, but I priced everything out, and after the fact, I realized I could have saved like forty bucks buying the stuff at AutoZone, which is huh. not great. It, yeah, it's the shipping is where yeah, Mark Auto ends up getting you. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh, I guess I, that, that is a very big weird cast iron water. You're right. <laughs> that. Uh... I've decided that's a sign that I don't need to bother with the the water pump. Good, good on you. Like it's it's fine. It does works. It, I don't does it make noise? No. Does it leak? Here. No. Don't replace it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's uh, that's our that's our automotive adventures of recent times. Uh, ZK just we been... love this hobby. You know, <laughs> it's still better than like I don't know doing it for a living. Like I, I yeah. enjoy this stuff on a on a random occasion, and like 
Ha ha ha, this water pump thing sure is annoying. Imagine dealing with that like literally every day for something that's not even yours. <laughs> yeah, and having to deal with the people right, <laughs> who they yeah. belong to. Yeah, sympathize with mechanics is all I'm going to say. Uh, ZK is just doing boring stuff like buying a bunch of random machinery. Mm-hmm. Yep. On to the show! <laughs> uh, this one, this one's for your your brother, ZK. I know he doesn't like uh -huh. C4s, but uh, I found I found a pretty good one, fifteen hundred bucks. It's a project car. Uh -huh. Everything is there, just needs to be put back together. Car ran when parked fifteen years ago, thirteen hundred dollars firm. I will not respond to it if it's still available. And uh, did you know fiberglass could rust? <laughs> <laughs> Because it, it's basically what this is doing. Wait a minute. That is a weird looking Corvette. That is a weird Corvette. That is also a weird Corvette. What has happened? I don't here? know. The, <laughs> the, the, the script we were running to like put the thing in order this week was really messed up. So. Did, did you remember to actually put it in order? I did. Yeah. Like it's been in order so far. Uh, all right. Here's more Corvette. Why, why are these here? Oh, because Kirby uh, uploaded those pictures in that random folder. No, I, think. I don't know. No. Anyway, this one's a, a Ramwin parked uh, car somewhere. I can't quite see it. Um, Didn't make the cut. Yeah, somewhere in here, there's a Ramwin parked car. Uh, I think there's more about this Corvair somewhere too. I think it was just to make ZK sad. Mm. But uh, this body Ugh. kit on the C4 is it not just like deliciously '90s? Do, so like do you hate it or do you love it okay i if you took off the rear wing and what? the hood hood bump oh i, I like the flares now. and the like lower bumper part actually <laughs> <laughs> this is a just a simple ram one part project yeah yeah oh. that's all it needs it's still just up a, running again nothing Honestly, nothing about a, a project car scares me more than just a box full of wires. <laughs> just a box full of wires makes me very afraid. From here, the seats look in decent shape. <laughs> right, great. Uh, you're going to have to tell me which engine this is. That is the... It's a TBI 350, I think. So or not a not an LT? It is... No, those didn't come out until 90? Okay, thank you, thank you for that. Oh, jeez, what is what is going on here? I don't know, but there's a there's a car in the weeds here. What Are these is, all yours? They're all mine, but like, did you did you? What did you do? I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> it's all random park. It's all random park from here. <laughs> this thing. This thing's like returning to nature. <laughs> this, that looks like some. Jumanji stuff going on. Oh, here's the Corvair. <laughs> this is my so... favorite episode so far. <laughs> okay, so this is actually your fault. Yeah, I think I labeled them. I think I numbered them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. But I didn't do 01, 02, 03, 04, 05. Mm. So now the 12s are before the 1. Uh, we No, maybe you didn't do the second order the second no sorting. i did i certainly did i think it's the 0102 thing okay. anyway there's a bunch of random park stuff okay move on okay <laughs> let's see what exciting things Board i brought to the table <laughs> just throw everything to the wind yeah yeah bleh. i have a 59 carmen Gia. rusty project parts car complete with title 2500 ah um, that's why it's worth anything Mm. Right, yeah. <laughs> yes, I know it has a 6074 air intake grills, but the low headlight, headlight fenders and unique 5659 taillights, and most importantly, the VIN tell you it's a 59 model. I mean, geez. Anybody jeez. Can that. Ooh, that's a number. What's a number? Comes with 36 horsepower engine. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Uh, it's rusty. That's the reason this complete 59... Gia with title is 25 and not 75. Uh, okay. Four speed, rusty but complete. It was not pulled from a lake, I'm happy to report. It was pulled from the forest. Good. Where it had been sitting for 30 years. Um, he's accepting deposits. 
All right. For the Washington, and once again, repeating that the Washington title is clean and clear. Um, and bring some extra wheels. Good. Okay. Good. Not it's very rusty. That's a rusty gear. Rusty gear. <laughs> These are so weird. Like, it's just a sexy bug. It's literally <laughs> just a sexy it's bug. A sexy bug. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> Demonetized. <laughs> they weren't monetized. I don't think we can use it as the title. I'm not even gonna write that down. What? <laughs> Why not? I mean, okay. I'll just. Okay. Ooh, I like the floorboards. Ooh. Yes. Going the nice stones. Saint Augustine or whatever. Nature. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, this is a twenty-five hundred dollar VIN. It yeah. would appear so. Yes. Oh, how much? Mm. What's your price? What's your price to sit in that seat as it stands? Uh, oh, there's some uh, free sunglasses there right now. Throw in the sunglasses. You got a deal. ZK can't. ZK just can't. He no, can't he even. Can't even. Yeah. That's the whole gas tank, huh? That is the gas tank, I suppose. Pretty small. In the front. And there's your 36 horsepowers. Yeah, yep. And tons of pixels. Mm-hmm. And battery. Which I is... can't believe that battery is there. It's still, like, it's still how has it not held up like by old, anything? It's not like an old 6-volt It is battery. an old 6-volt battery. I cannot believe it has not fallen through. Weird, sexy bug. <laughs> <laughs> I like them enough, but uh, not enough to pay $2,500 for a, a VIN. Although at this yeah, point, I'd probably pay $2,500 for a Datsun 620 VIN or 610 VIN. Why can I never remember this? 620? I wonder why it's so hard to get a title. <laughs> right. uh, ZK, you okay? Is ZK with us? I don't know. Sorry, sorry. I was... Someone took something from my lawn that I put out there. <laughs> Intentionally. What? Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you can't just say these are a thief. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so like, yeah, you said I was buying a bunch of random machinery stuff, and uh -huh. it happened to be this giant rolling cart that I have zero use or desire for, and everyone that I know I asked, do you want this? They're like, no. Mm -hmm. So I put it out on the curb with a free sign on it, and apparently it's gone. Ah. That was fast. Okay, on it, purpose. Not like somebody's just coming by and taking stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. that you left out of your garage. But like, it's been like an hour. Like, I, I, I... <laughs> that's impressive. Yeah, that's why I was like, wait, that's actually not there anymore? Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Where were we? Oh, yes. Uh, speaking of sexy bugs. It's a theme a episode. 1968 Volkswagen Beetle. Mm-hmm. Dump bed. Oh, dump oh. Oh. <laughs> Those are those are hot right now. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a pickup beetle thing. I don't, I don't. Yeah, it one of a kind aluminum bed needs finishing. Starts, runs, needs rear brakes, and a bunch of other stuff. Okay. And it's got what I'm assuming are golf t cart tires wheels on it. You think? No, they look bigger than that. That looks it's like those. Yeah, but those look like those like very uh, heavily used turbine wheels of the 70s. Oh, I'm talking about the tires. Oh, you think the tires? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's brown. It's brown. It's got a dump bed. It does have a dump bed, I guess, if you want to call it that. It's lifted. There's... Um... <laughs> yeah, because what are you dumping? The Three single... Stooges up there. I'm pretty sure that's not the Three Stooges. <laughs> <laughs> it's got floors. Painless. Yep. Yep. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess maybe it comes with the other wheels. Huh. Or no, they're those? just sitting next to it. <laughs> they yeah, they're are. just sitting next to it, yeah. Why, know. though? Like... I think I don't think it's actually a dump bed. I think that's just like a tele or like a pole there, so you can right. get at the engine. Probably it's, it is just an aluminum bed, so it probably doesn't weigh a whole lot. True. Yeah, I mean, I know the bug truck thing was a was a pretty popular modification. 
Yeah, uh, but did they usually just cut straight through where the window oh, yeah. would be? Yeah, the the <laughs> it's the cutout location that's very bizarre. Like, it, like yeah, I don't. It's, it's think... just a flat piece of metal. There's not even like a pillar there. Right. <laughs> but look at him building it. Angle grinding. I'm sorry. Was that, was that Steve Dolson? <laughs> <laughs> huh. Well. Oh, that's why the floors are there, because they put them in. Yeah. I don't know. It looks neat. It's neat. Uh, anything more than $3,000 that I'm not interested. Oh. Ah, hate to see it. Hate to see it. <laughs> I mean, if it comes with a 69 plate, I'll consider it. <laughs> 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 All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I messed up this next one. I, I mean, so. mine was fine. I don't think so. Oh, no. Somebody else messed this one up. Uh, you want a ticking time bomb? You want a 2015 Ford Focus ST? Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. want to spend $7,000 mm -hmm. on one? You want to see a description of an ad that you should run away from? Has upgraded turbo, intercooler exhaust, modded engine, has a bad clutch, and is making a tick. So I'm going to ask you, ZK, how much is a 2015 Ford Focus ST worth anymore? Um, stock? Yeah. Like, depending on the mileage, like 15 grand. Okay, so they're not asking, like, full price for this thing. No, no, they're not this cheap yet. Okay, but still, like, clearly, obviously, they just blew this thing up. And are desperately yes. trying to sell it without saying that it's... Like, they're trying to not drive it before it actually throws a rod. <laughs> yes. Um, that first three words in mm -hmm. the description is how you blow up these engines. <laughs> uh, this is also all of the pictures of the ad, including the rear picture of it just covered in carbon dust. Also, single tailpipe that's tiny, that's not stock. It's probably just straight piped, yeah. Yeah. And, uh... I mean, they didn't even put an exhaust tip on it. There's your zip tied together front end with an intercooler. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this is the only picture of the interior. <laughs> well, it's the uh, ST2 package. Oh. Because um, the mid-trim level. Because it has this level of Recaro or something? Yeah, it, it's the Recaros, but they're not the full leather ones. They have the cloth inserts or whatever. It's the fact that they still have their stuff in it. Like, they still actively had, like, a cup in it. Obviously, I mean, yeah. my mind, this thing blew up on the way home, and they were, like, putting it for sale. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I hear that they're not as cheap as they used to be for various, I think it's still the whole, like, shortages and things right. issues. But the two liters in this, the actual, like, engine is literally the same as like the escape and everything else. Oh and yeah. So you should be able to get like a whole engine for four hundred dollars or less. And Probably you not just anymore. Throw it in there. You like put in a couple. I think you change a couple accessories and it's uh, in. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I I feel like these are going the route of well the Monster Speed three. It's going the route yeah. of the the Veloster. Do I ever say that right? Yeah, that, that's how I say it. Velociraptor. Uh, yeah. It's they're they're too cheap for their own good. They make turbo noises. They're all going to end up like this. <laughs> Someday these yeah. will be very sought after because there's none left. Yeah. Um, mine is visually stock, other than the wheels. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just it, it gave me a giggle just reading that and going, "Yep, that's uh." That's that's somebody very desperate. <laughs> I mean, mine's been, I don't know, mine's been basically as tuned as you can get with the stock turbo, and I have one hundred six thousand miles on it, and have it's been like that since it was thirty thousand miles, if not less. So I don't know, maybe just change your oil more often, or don't drive like an idiot too. Like yeah, if the you're, whole if you're yeah, running the thing in fifth and boost. red line every day, and then yeah, like. You're on the highway in overdrive, and you just slam the throttle down. She's gonna blow. <laughs> it's gonna happen. I mean, I, I redline the car every day. I, I feel like you should always redline your car because that's why they put a line there. 
This is why your SR doesn't run. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing to do with it. It's because I bought the wrong friggin' oil filter. Speaking of buying the wrong thing. Speaking of buying the wrong thing. How about a 1971 Porsche 911 for only $17,000? How? Huh. Instantly, I could see something is not right here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but episode, it's like, uh, it's so close to being right. I know. I'm actually very impressed. Very close to being right. It's a 71 Porsche with the Volkswagen 1600 engine. Um, pull your title. New battery. Wait, so Runs is it drive. actually a 911, but it just has the VW engine for some reason? Or is it like a body kit conversion thing on a bug? I don't know. Because the body itself looks pretty good it's yes too right to be a kit but it's also like there's something Being it is five by cords right <laughs> there's something wrong i mean it doesn't have the windshield in it which is right. giving it a weird yeah show me more what um mm. so <laughs> i my opinion is like this was not that big of a deal because Porsches used to like 911s were dirt cheap for a long time. Really? Like this era? Yeah. You not remember that like in the late night or like early mid 2000s, maybe a little later than that, like 911 like air cooled 911s just weren't worth anything and then all of a sudden they got famous because of Seinfeld or something. I don't know <laughs> how that happened, but yeah, it's a and then they like made. Uh, you used to be able to get like a 911, like an air cooled one, for less than twenty grand. So if you had a blown motor one, it probably wasn't worth anything. I guess. I guess they weren't like uh, they were like how two not quite to that port point, but like two forties where they weren't sacred at all. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there was but the 912, right? The 912 was a four-cylinder Porsche 911. So it's a it's an homage. Yes. Yeah. The 36 horsepower homage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, weird. Why are what? what Very is, weird. Why is everything related to VW bugs just weird. Like, <laughs> why is there's nothing normal about the VW bug or anything it touches? Have you seen the people that own them? Yeah, Have I've you met... talked to good. Yeah, I've met good. <laughs> <laughs> That's settled. Okay. <laughs> That's, yeah. It's a very weird thing that I, it exists. Huh. Huh. Strange. Very strange. I'm just, I'm still like, just, it's just amazing to me that somebody put that much work into making something that bad. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen a more purposeful downgrade to anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's people that stick lawnmower engines in cars, but I think that's more just, that's, that's like a, digging around. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm continuing my theme of, um, hand built things. And this is a 1987 Lamborghini Guntash. Okay. Get the what, car. What have quote, they unquote. what have they done with it though? It's got the right wheels on it at least. Which is impressive because all these kit cars never have wheels that fit. Mm hmm Um Are those like do you think those are retubbed BBS wheels? I don't know. They're kinda cool actually. Yeah. If yeah, it, cool. if this was like a thousand dollars and I had something to put those wheels on, <laughs> I would Take the wheels off it and like junk the rest of the car. Just burn it. It's all fiberglass. Yeah. It'll just <laughs> disappear. <laughs> Custom built tubular frame has a big engine in it. Was totaled out of Cadillac, like the 400 series or whatever. I can't be no good. No glass, no nothing, no interior work. Like it's just what you see here primer fiberglass with the saddest looking taillights in the world. The... But that's not all. Okay. Here's your Cadillac. Oh, it's a it's a front wheel drive Cadillac or, mm -hmm. or whatever Buick Oldsmobile. Yeah, and look at those welds on the strut towers. 
<laughs> Powers, get out of Texas. Powers. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. The open headers. Look at that torque screw in the vacuum line there. <laughs> Where did that come from? Look at those seats, though. Look at that interior work. Do you see where the yeah. like top of the seat is compared to the roof? I was gonna say there's no room for anybody who has a head. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the kind of person that would think this was a good idea. Fair. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. E. Yeah. It's crusty. In it what like on fire? <laughs> like what are they smoking to think seventy five hundred dollars for this? Not only that, like I sure right does it just say There's ass that... on the dashboard <laughs> yes, i think it says something on the dashboard in like relief oh yeah yeah, yeah. amiibo what no <laughs> <laughs> lambo it lambo. says lambo lambo <laughs> We've done it. you know what you're driving while you're driving it how fast are we going we're going lambo <laughs> so like but my thing is like sure it's 7500 dollars. a lot of money for this pile of junk mm -hmm. how much do you think they spent making it originally like, not enough this is a good idea <laughs> <laughs> in the first place and I then i don't know that the fiberglass what? shells themselves were all that expensive i don't know you think there was like a book that was like cut lengths of stuff to make the chassis or whatever maybe possibly i don't know and then you get oh. to the oh oh <laughs> oof Okay, that's enough. Move along. No, nope, no, nope, we don't need. No, nope, no, nope. nope. closer. No, just, just soak it in. <laughs> Let this haunt your dreams. Mm -mm. Oh, and why is there more? <laughs> <laughs> I think it has a frunk. <laughs> okay, thank. Oof. Eye bleach. I hope I have some eye bleach here. What do I have? Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Camino find. Dad sent me this. 1991 Oldsmobile Cutlass. One of a kind. Runs good and drives good. Six foot bed. Oldsmobile Cutlass. Gotta tell you, actually pretty well done. Yeah, no, from here at least. At from least here, decent. not bad. But look how well they oh. merged the back to the... I don't... <sighs> Like, I prefer my ute to have a straight window so you can actually, like, use the bed. Also, oh, okay. There's also a weird body trim thing happening around that rear quarter window. Like, because it doesn't <laughs> quite line up? <laughs> yeah. Also, okay, so they cut it off and shoved it forward. Forward. Basically, they just made yeah. the trunk really big and open. Yeah, they took out the <laughs> back seat and shoved that forward. What is a pickup truck after all? <laughs> Big and open <laughs> trunk. Did they have a? Were these like a four door? Maybe. I think it's like originally a two door. I think. But no, yeah, that front door is too short, so it must have been a four door. I don't know the. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say it was a four door. So that's pretty also, smooth. I feel like this is fairly small. It's weird because like around this time, the Cutlass was like. They had like eight different cars named the Cutlass. Oh, uh, yeah. Where's my favorite? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Branding. Uh, that makes it. Yeah. How much that, did they want for this? Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't too crazy. $2,200. Oh, oh, man. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's got a 3800 in it. Uh, no, it has like a 3300, which is the same. Oh, was it? I thought it was a 38. Series, but like, yeah, just the oh, real yeah, frumpy. Oh, yeah, those aren't, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, with a 3800 supercharged in there. <laughs> fits. <laughs> the way they did it, the cab almost looks like a, a Riata, a Buick Riata. Yeah, cab. when yeah. I first saw it, I thought maybe it was a Riata uh, Ute, and I was like, oh, Kurt's going to be all over this. And then I <laughs> and then I realized that it's just actually an old ass mobile. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's, yeah, I just, I love the way it's presented very just like straightforward to like, yep, we have this thing. Here it is. Somebody please take it away. <laughs> For $2,200, I feel like that's used car market. And talking. it's like, you know, it's still a pretty good little parts runner or something. Yeah. 
Like, I feel like you could drive this. Like, if you needed a car to get to work, like, and really didn't care, like, I don't and, think and there's just had some wrong like with it. little deliveries or something they had to do. It'd be good. Yeah. As long as it doesn't like leak water. Oh, I'm sure it leaks everywhere <laughs> possible. <laughs> like a sieve. <laughs> Like my water pump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. What did I find that probably leaks? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. How about a buggy? Those are popular with Volkswagen fans for only six hundred dollars. Does it leak if it holds nothing out? Yes. <laughs> like where where does leak begin <laughs> now there's it's your episode title <laughs> nature where does leak begin <laughs> uh, sorry for the horrible pics <laughs> the engine runs I'm not sure how they know that <laughs> the train shifts and the brakes did work definitely a project left it at my place six years ago um had it running and kind of stopping about four years ago then he got bored with it <laughs> tubed cage tires Daddy are works. on black rims asking 600. don't you lowball their 600 dollars <laughs> <laughs> for some tubing mm. oh look at the moss yeah okay so that's all snow on top of it yes. yeah but that's also a lot of foliage. Oh, it runs. It runs with that <laughs> dairy runs, can. Then, yeah, they left the can there. Vice Grip's been here. <laughs> or was snowing. <laughs> it does look ratchet strapped to the... Or yeah. zip tied to the... Yeah. To the frame there. Yep. Uh-huh. There's that for some reason. What is that crinkled thing on the left? Is that the... Shock. Shock? Yeah, I think that's like... The, I think the, the suspension is probably collapsed. Oh, like the bellow or something? Yeah, that's the bellow. Okay. I mean... Okay, so I think it doesn't... It looks weird because there's no wheels on it. And it's covered in leaves and... Or yeah, I mean, it is probably plants. a decent buggy chassis. Like, if you were looking to build a buggy, then you got a good start here. But this chassis also doesn't seem very well done. No. Square tubing for your steering column doesn't look oh, great. Also, it's been wrecked real bad. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, <laughs> I yeah. Think, right? Yeah, right. Like, that bend ain't right. Maybe. I mean, the other side is straight, too. Huh. Or the other side is straight, so. Yeah, because this side is straight, and this side has the... Whoo? The only thing I could think of is, like... But that that's... No, that's, like, kinked. That can't be Yeah, you, were you thinking, like, Cleeter couldn't fit himself into this thing? Yeah, he had, like, a little <laughs> elbow room there or something. Because I don't think it's but that. How do you how do you bend it that way? Right, unless it's been smushed. And that's where it gave. Maybe. Oh, maybe, yeah. Like, it got, you rear-ended it or whatever, however right. these things happen. CSI yeah. ran when parked. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, like... Out. He said he wanted 600 bucks for it? Yeah. Yes. I mean... What, what's the price of steel these days? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was thinking, like, have you seen how much, like, ATVs and mm -hmm, stuff mm -hmm. go for? Or, like, just even a go-kart? Like, if you could get this just putting around, it could be a fun go-kart. I wouldn't expect it to be anything more than that. Yeah. I think that's uh, that's what he says. Definitely a project, but could be a fun little cart. That's his, that's his angle. Yeah. There you go. There's I the mean, angle. I've I mean, 36 horsepower in uh, old 911s. Yeah, <laughs> 36 horsepower in a go kart's pretty fun, actually. Uh, I've I've scooted a Super Beetle around in the neighborhood, and uh, for for that kind of stuff, like if to, to just like if you had a property, just to like yeah. buzz around the property, yeah, they're kind of good for that. Look at the. Oh wait, go back to that one. Ooh. Ignition key, duct taped together. Like on <laughs> the engine to start it. Nice. <laughs> Wires draping over the CV. Very nice. Very nice. Classic. I think I think we have a theme this episode. It's all about your home built in fiberglass. And this is the uh, It's a Mazda Mazda Rosa. It's a Mazda Rosa. <laughs> oh Mazda Rosa, yeah. <laughs> this was such a thing. So it's a B twenty two hundred, which is my favorite mini truck. With a Testarossa body kit on it. Gosh, you just you just and brought so much nostalgia back to me. 
So, like, it's weird. The kit, I actually really like on this truck. It looks, like, pretty weird and crazy and dumb and cool. I mean, it just reminds, then... like, it was so popular. It was such a, it was such a, every magazine had one of these in it in the 90s. Yeah. But, like, I would take off whatever this, like, imagine it without the rear topper. Mm -hmm. Without this, whatever this cowl wing thing is. I like the cowl wing. The, the fact the roof a is cut bumper. isn't great. I can't tell if it's cut or if it had vinyl on it that's come off. Oh, maybe. And then, like, some not gold wheels on it. I'm surprised you don't like the gold wheels. <laughs> <laughs> they don't stick out far enough. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> There's not a whole lot of pictures of it, but, like, the actual, like, Testarossa kit, it doesn't quite line up with the doors perfectly but it looks more or less well integrated it's just stupid enough to be good yeah and like wide bodies a mini truck it's like so stupid it does need to be slammed though this is way too high yeah and i think that's what i don't like about these wheels is like they they look like low rider wheels mm -hmm. when this isn't a low rider right Yeah, but I think, I think it would just look cooler if it was slammed. It had a big, like, front air dam and everything on it. And... Yeah, yeah. It needs a bumper. Right. And then put, it like, a a, a really heavily ported 12A in it. Mm-hmm. I'm with you. All right. When do we start this project? Uh, how much did they want for it? I think they wanted too much. $4,500. $4, it's a bit steep, but it is OBO. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't say no low balls, so, like, have at it. Dayton wire wheels, you could probably sell those for half that, maybe. I Can don't you know still low well? For. Does that require? <laughs> and never mind. <laughs> I think you need something. Uh, let's get out of here. Let's, uh, yep, yeah. yep. <laughs> abandon ship, abandon ship. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's a that's a fun nostalgia trip though, because I definitely rem I remember early like internet forum days, everybody talking about these and just like there was always I two sides I'm... of this is so cool or just like you know just destroying people for wanting to do this. Yeah, and I think that I I don't know. There's like there used to be some vinyl flames on the camper thing. Yeah, I feel like it would look better if it was just a flat bed or you had like the little vinyl um cover on the bed or something mm -hmm. unfortunately there's no pictures from the other side yeah but we can imagine we can imagine mm -hmm. just like we can imagine last episode's best finds of the week how do you like this font that photoshop automatically replaced your your names with i was just about to say my name's not here by the way your name's um, not that here. the font is interesting it's, it's a choice also we didn't talk about it eric is pretty cool yeah, it, 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 I, it like really I watched well. the episode because I missed last week for reasons, and yeah, no, like he's neat dude. He's um, he's like, a follow a lot of people. Yeah, a lot of people were like, "Yeah, come didn't link his socials and everything," and I was just like, he, "Like I talked to him after the recording, and everything." And he's like, "No, I'm just, I'm just a dude. Like <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm not here to push anything. Like <laughs> it's like." Oh, okay, and that's and that that was interesting. I liked, I did like, uh, just a just a different automotive enthusiast take on stuff, but very much in line with the kind of random crap that we also enjoy. Yeah. But Kurt had the uh, the Ferrari cart. Mm -hmm. Oh, I saw that. I was like, they didn't they want like way too much money for it? No, oh, yeah, they were very full of themselves. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, our guest, Eric, had the... It was a Volvo, right? Volvo, like, armored tank vehicle. I believe, if I remember correctly. And I had the Beams Corolla wagon. Ooh. I knew, This is so weird, because all three of us are like, that is clearly the best thing here. However, the <laughs> voters were like, that's clearly the worst thing here. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, taking... They don't understand the beans. They just don't understand the beans. Eric takes the win, 54%. Kurt with 32. And I hand 12.79%. Poor beans. So he has 100% win average? Yeah, 100% win average. Mm. Un undefeated. Now. Yeah. 
I'm not retired, though, because I've got the 1967 <laughs> Volkswagen VW Transporter right on theme. <laughs> and it is on theme. It's the Boonie Bug custom vehicle on a 54 to 67 VW Transporter chassis. No engine in the vehicle. Everything else is there. No title. So uh, if you want to get your Cybertruck early, we got it here for you. <laughs> I, I feel like I've seen this in the background of a Star Wars show or film or something. <laughs> no, it, uh, it looks like that little, like, uh, there's like a little droid that goes around the... Yeah. And it's just like a remote control car that they, like, put a trash can on that looks like this. Sadly, I think it's missing a door. Pretty rough. Uh, thankfully, it's... go to Home Depot and get Thankfully, it. <laughs> it's just a flat piece, so, like... <laughs> it is probably two by four, or, like, a plywood. Plywood, you just get yeah. a little bit of trim for the edge. Mm-hmm. Uh, dashboard also would. Were those speaker cutouts? Maybe. This whole thing is very backyard. Uh, it's a forward control, so Powers will be interested. What is a pause attraction tire? <laughs> what year was that? <laughs> you can only fill it with uh, LSD air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's that's something. <laughs> From this angle, it kind of looks like the A-Team van, but... I was going to... Yeah, that's what it was <laughs> reminding me. I was like, I can't... I kind of place it, though. Uh, it's very short, like, is... wheelbase-wise. I'm having a hard time getting the scale of this. I think it's fairly small. I don't Maybe? know. Look at it next to that truck back there. But look at the size of the seat. Yeah, I think it's pretty big. Yeah, there's, there's there's headroom compared yeah. to that Lamborghini. <laughs> right. <laughs> so you're saying this is the perfect, like, starting place for your uh, little camper, right? Right, yeah. A little RV here. A little RV action going on. It is, I mean, honestly, if you, if you really... <laughs> <laughs> I did So it was a thing. It was a thing. Build the boonie bug. Now, this one definitely looks different. Like, this is a different... Yeah, those doors don't look flat. Body shell and like the windshields forward on this one, uh, but they did include, of course, some uh, some literature from Popular Mechanics of 1974, talking about the boonie bugs, the go anywhere camper. I just think it's neat, and yeah, I honestly <laughs> would love to like actually finish something like this out because I just think it would be real stupid and cool. They listed it for free. What are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> and yes. Uh, Wait, I think... Does it say Mach... Oh, what do these tires say on them? Mach 60. Nope, that's the back one. The front ones are uh, something different. Pause the traction. <laughs> huh. Those are some old tires. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think paint would appreciate if you took that home. Yeah. <laughs> powers powers has really put me in a pickle here. <laughs> All right. Well I had I had to this is I'm kinda of cheating here. So I mean feel free to disqualify me if you want to. But. Okay. Disqualified. Bam. From the esteemed estate of Mr. Meekum. Oh. I don't know. Uh available now. Uh, uh, between March 16th and 19th. Oh, well, you could vote on or you could start betting on you it. Can vote on it. Comes out. I can <laughs> vote on it. You can. Uh, estimated to go between 30 to 50,000. David Carradine's Death Race 2000 Frankenstein kind of snake. It's never really addressed what it's supposed to be. <laughs> Lizard uh, alligator car. Thing. It is a, a flat six Corvair engine, which huh. is hidden beneath the engine that you actually see for the show or the, the movie. Shocking. Um, it is, it, and sticking with the theme, it's a Volkswagen chassis, but a Corvette body style. Uh, sold on a bill of sale. Surprisingly, does not have a title. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, so, yes, if, if you haven't, find Death Race 2000 and watch it. It is very much like a Rift Tracks mm. kind of movie. I've not seen it. Um, you should. And I, I, this came up, and I've already talked about it on the Discord, but I built this for one of uh, the uh, 
automation. Yeah, one of the OG, like, yes. long time ago. Before, Before it was free. easy to do this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I definitely <laughs> ran out of time when I was doing each individual tooth right. on the front there. <laughs> hmm. That's cool. It is a thing. Such a... Yeah, you can kind of see, like, where they hid... Yeah. Corvair engine under kind of that... Yeah, I, I guess I was trying to like that's a choice to pick a Corvair agent, but I guess because it's flat and you can kind of just yeah stick just, it in there. It's weird that they wouldn't just use the Volkswagen engine, but yeah, yeah. They needed more than thirty six horsepower. They, they, how many alligators did they kill for that interior? I was gonna say I'm, I'm just <laughs> staring at this interior. Also, like... they stole my carpet. <laughs> <laughs> So, like, was this restored, or is this a remake, or is it actually like just is, still in this... I feel like this is, like, original like, prop. They are saying the original, whoops, uh, driven by David Carradine in yeah, okay. 75. So this is the hero It's car. probably been sitting in museums, and now it's going to a new museum. Mm. Was it in a museum? Like, I don't, I don't know, but usually, I don't know. like, prop cars, even from, like, big movies generally just rot away somewhere mm, there's if you, there's a lot of like highway side attraction museums that they they always have some random selection of uh, like movie yeah. cars yeah but, I've, I've definitely seen many a batmobile oh, or yeah. like a monsters car yeah. or whatever but it looks in fairly good shape oh yeah it does, it, I, this thing's been undercover or or in a enclosed environment for its whole life yeah. because it's mint. It's it is what it is, but it's mint. <laughs> is that a three speed? It is a three speed. Although I'm not. I mean, I don't know how functional it is. I don't know if it's a three speed for the sake of shifting gears on camera, and maybe it's just an automatic somewhere. I'm not seeing. But right. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I mean, it was a. Yeah, I really don't see three. Corvair. Pedals. No, I don't and... see. I don't see only one pedal. <laughs> yeah. <it's> just... <laughs> True. Well, okay. it was a bug. It wasn't a Corvair. It's a bug chassis. Oh, yeah, but it's got the Corvair engine. So maybe it is just an automatic. That would make some sense. Don't, to, well, don't try to make too breaks. much sense out of this. No, yes. Death race. Mm, you can tell that's foam. Like the valve foam. covers might be real, uh, but that yeah. supercharger's foam. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's got that kind of yeah, grainy. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> you can look like this. This could be you. It's not a weird movie at all. I don't want this to be me. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, yeah, we, we'll have to wait though for uh, Sylvester Stallone's car, which his theme is giant knife and Tommy guns. <laughs> <laughs> or this cow car that was also in the movie oh man i i haven't seen this come up for sale Jeez. there's also a, a nazi themed car but we're not going to show a picture of that one mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that one did not age well mm -hmm. from 1975 but yeah death race 2000 huh check it out and then buy the car <laughs> <laughs> let's see your volkswagen it's not a Volkswagen, <laughs> but it is another custom car. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what the hell is this? It's another other other. It is serious buyers only. I don't have time for your negative comments or opinions. This is one of a kind. <laughs> negative. You will never see another one. If you don't like it, just move along. Completely custom made. My stepdad bought it from the second owner. It is fully street legal with license plates and insurance. I don't know why the guy built it originally, but my stepdad likes unique things that gets people attention. Uh, Due to health issues, he can no longer drive it. The engine slash drivetrain is in a 1998 Chevy Cavalier. This is not a bug. It's a Cavalier. Okay. Title in hand. The front end. Wait, wait, no wait, issues. Whoa, 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 whoa. The front end has a single wheel and forks from a motorcycle? A I like my tri tricycles or yeah. <laughs> what? Tricycles? Anyway. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Why does it look like a Cessna? Right? Is that not the windshield in front of a Cessna? I, yeah, I imagine. But no, the the 
glass is way too tall, though, right? They're not. And then it like squares dynamic. out. The fuselage <laughs> of a plane is not square like that. It's like round all the way around. Cessnas hmm. are pretty boxy. Yeah. Maybe I don't know. Like it, like there should be a wing mounted up there. <laughs> um. Wow. And there's your 98 Cavalier. I'm like, how did they... Cause it's a, it's a, obviously, it's a front-wheel drive car, but now they've got it... In the back, with the battery and radiator and everything. They Wait, just, this is in the back? Where this they is bolted in the it. Go back? This is in the back. It's... This is the front. This is the back. No, it's a three-wheeler. <laughs> oh, I forgot back. this is a three-wheeler. Okay. It's rear-wheel drive. Rear-wheel drive. Okay, okay. So you can see the firewall and, and oh, it's mounted. AC controls. Oh, yeah, that's just the front... In the entire yeah, front and clip you can see where they bolted to the chassis rails there on the right. But it's, oh yeah, but, because the radiator's in front. Yeah, yeah. I guess that they just like. Oh my god, the HVAC, the HVAC the controls. Steering. Oh my yeah, god, I saw the, the HVAC, HVAC controls. <laughs> <laughs> so pedestrians can turn on your AC for you. But like, and this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Is why you don't do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> but he, I don't know. He was like, doing like cancel some dare. Good, just show high kids quality this quality drugs. What was that? Cancel dare. Just show kids this. <laughs> <laughs> I think they did cancel it finally. Did they? Thank God. Um, wow. Yeah, it's weird. I assume they just lock out the steering or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know why I'm so surprised and taken aback that it's literally just the whole stock engine bay. Like, it's right. everything. <laughs> yeah, it's... Like, it's, you it's can a, go to AutoZone and be like, yes, 1988 or 98 Cavalier, anything. Water pump, radi or radiator. You, you remember the radiator. era of half cuts when they were just sending the half cut of a, mm -hmm. of a 240 or 180 over? It's that. Mm -hmm. Just in the back. What are the pipes for? What are the pipes piping in and out? Is that the HVAC? <laughs> yeah, that's your your AC and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that can't work for shit. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah, there's the there's the Cavalier gauge cluster. Mm-hmm. And shift knob and seats. <laughs> ah, mm -hmm. uh, oh, we know man. those seats. I just Where, can't. What's I'm I'm failing to see the control scheme. I think with it's those straight tubes. No, that's the that's the tubes. I think it's, it's like... like a glider. Have you ever seen how people fly those like gliders that you hang out of, like the paraglider things, or you move the bar back? Oh, and okay. Forth? That kink is pointing it towards the driver's seat. Right. I see. Okay. Is it? Yeah. 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 And then you just kind of well, the left side is longer a... than the right. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's got handlebars. Yeah. Wow. Mm hmm Just wow. Active downforce. That spoiler's spoiler. backwards. Yep. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, so is the car, so. <laughs> oh, my God. Weird. Did they say if it's street legal? Yeah, it's got a, it's I registered. It's, it's got a plate on it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it because it's a three-wheeler, so those are easy to register. And I, I think it'd be hilarious if you could put a fourth wheel and title it as a 1998 Cavalier. <laughs> <In> <laughs> There's Texas, probably still a on that firewall back there. <sighs> wow. Like the windshield wiper. I wonder yeah. like, how much of the actual windshield gets touched by the wiper. <laughs> I, I don't... If anyone actually does know if this is from a plane or something... Oh, I know hmm. there's some plane nerd out there that's like, I know that windshield! <laughs> yeah. I mean, do they have those same doors in the plane, too? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Did the guy run a Cavalier? It's amazing. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm like, I'm inclined to make fun of it, but it's actually like a lot of amazing craftsmanship. Yeah, it's amazing craftsmanship, but also really ugly and crazy and stupid. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I could see why his uncle or whatever bought it. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna. Is that just like the under Cavalier bumper, or is that just off of some truck? Or it's something? off of yeah. That looks like it's off of like a mail truck or something. Yeah. And it's way too wide. <laughs> huh. Oh, yeah, you see it's got a motorcycle tag on it. 
Yeah. Well, that's our show, everybody. Hope you like Volkswagens that... I don't think there was any actual Volkswagens on. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, wow. Oh, there Just, was my bug truck. That, that was the closest still, thing. Uh, the Porsche was pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure you click down below to vote for your favorite best find of the episode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 36 horsepower.